Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Um, today's a special day, right? I have completed my software engineering degree at WGU, right? This is not my first time at WGU. This is my second degree from this university, and I'm very pleased with my results. Now, this video won't be as dragged out and long as my video, I think, what, last year? So, we'll probably keep it under five, six minutes, nine tops, right? I'm just gonna get in, get out. Right, so software engineering degree. As you can see, this is my degree portal. I actually just got my feedback from my capstone. Actually, let me actually show you this real quick. This was actually interesting. I got task three back this morning, and then task four came back a couple hours later. So a technique I did was a staggered technique, right? Pretty much if you have multiple tasks, right, you'll submit one because it takes up to three days to grade them, right? So I'll submit the second one, assuming the first one passed, right? I'll submit the second one, within 12 hours after I submit the first one so you could knock them out really quick. It's a staggering technique. It's approved by the school. Just want to put you guys on game on that. But yeah, I just got the word today. But yeah, let's get started. So what is this degree exactly? Um, this is the online software engineering degree. It's split into two tracks, Java and C Sharp. I chose the C Sharp uh, track for many reasons at the time when I first enrolled last year. Reasons like, you know, C Sharp being backed by Microsoft, Microsoft's a big company, C Sharp being used in game development, which is something I thought was quite interesting. And, you know, C Sharp being a general, uh, pretty, pretty solid uh, uh, programming language, right? You don't really hear any bad things about it. Uh, and it's actually climbing up the ranks in popularity if you look at uh, programming. Uh, graph chart. So really, really interesting. Uh, another thing as well too, I believe C Sharp is used um, a lot with Microsoft infrastructure, which is obvious, right? And other things as well too. So I, I, I try to pick the poison from there, C Sharp or, or Java. Doesn't really matter. Now there is a difference in courses, right? There is more classes. There are more classes with the Java track, right? And these classes are well stable. I'll say that the C Sharp track it's again relatively new in general this is a new degree if you guys don't know this came out early 2023 right you guys can do research on that uh so very new degree and the c sharp track has less classes but some of the classes are extremely new and they're still being developed right so i'm going to talk about the pros and i'm going to talk about the cons um you can see the tuition here right four thousand every six months now my total tuition i could pull up the numbers it totaled out to i think eight or nine thousand Right, all out of pocket, no student loans, no Sally Mae, uh, coughed it up. Um, I used a tuition discount, which was from my past few employers, so managed to finagle that in. Um, so yeah, I came up to eight grand, nine, nine K, so really, really cool. I did not take any certifications in this track because I transferred in, and I can show you guys this real quick. Oops, wrong page. I transferred in, and probably gonna blur some of this out, In where is it? 42% of the program I transferred in, right? And, you, you know, you go look around, see what got in. So I didn't have to take the Project Plus, which I heard a lot of interesting things about that. As you can see, that was transferred in through my past business degree. I didn't have to take the CCP. I already had the CCP. And I didn't have to take Security Plus because I, I have Net Plus and Security Plus. And I think I have SANS GCIH, which is surprisingly not on this list. So interesting and all everything else was gen eds so i pretty much had to take everything else in gray uh, which was pretty interesting and we could quickly jump to it now you may see the java stuff here again c star track is different um i had to get my thing tailored for the c star track remove some courses add some courses and we'll talk more about that but let's get back to this page right um there you go. So these are the courses specific to the C Sharp track that are unique to it, right? When you compare it to the Java track up here, again, less courses. You could just do a little eyeball and see there's less courses. Um, there is a JavaScript course, but <laughs> it's mainly Angular, right? And if you are taking this course, at the time of this recording, the instructor is named Mona House. Uh, definitely tap in with her. She is a great instructor. Definitely lock in with her and she'll get you right for this course. So just wanna plug that in real quick. And for software, I think two and one, if you have the instructor, Dr. Brewer, great guy, very, very understanding, definitely tap in with him. Um, I guess while we're on this page, we could talk about <laughs> the courses real quick. Software security testing, uh, this is not a 
This is a new course. A lot of folks don't like it. I thought it was quite cool. It was interesting. It's pretty much the Python course, which I'll talk about later, right? Introduction to Python course, but it's security focused. So you'll be coding. The, the actual PA is coding, right? But you're focusing on the security aspects. So, and the other ones are pretty, pretty cool. This was one of my favorites, user experience and design. The only thing I don't like about this course is that it stems on other students have to, you know, grade and give feedback on your, 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 your project, your website, which was the teeny, Taniti Island for anybody that knows about that. But yeah, other than that, everything else is pretty much solid. There are two main courses you need to watch out for software two, right? That's a beast of a course and DSA, which is, I believe in the general track, uh, where is it? DSA, well, data structures and algorithm It's somewhere here. I can't find it right here. This is another the course. A lot of students get caught up on this one again and i'm about to show you my notion page and if it wasn't for this notion page i'll be cooked right so just want to quickly show you guys the website uh or you know the website for the software engineering track again very affordable um accredited i know there's a lot of debate around that there we go this is a better viewpoint of the three certifications i did not have to take itel luckily and yeah cost is affordable now let's jump straight into the meat and potatoes um which i believe is this screen student dashboard right so if you have notion there is a template named student dashboard which will give you something very similar to this i made each client i tailor each class to the ones in wgu and i managed to do like a kanban table or, or um and just pretty much took stuff from here progress blah 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 so this is all the courses i took in i believe oh this is in general right so i had to take 20 classes in general now um let me just show you how I did my notes, right? So if I go to DSA, right, and I go to the page, resources, right, study guide, Quizlets, the big O, grokking. So pretty much what I did when it comes to building this out, before I even launch a course, right, I will go on the course, well, you can't go on the course chatter if the course is now on. So I'll go on Reddit, I'll go on Reddit, do a lot of research, see what works best for folks, what to watch out for. I'm telling you, Reddit was a game changer because it, it put me on game. Oh, this course is relatively new. Don't use the Zybook material, use this. Like for example, I think it was this course right here. Let me see if this is it. Uh, this is the SQL course. Again, look, I even have a page for course chatter tips. I'll quickly show you this, but I, I literally read every single course chatter and then copy and paste it and just really analyzed it before I really jumped into the class. And I did this for every single class. There's not one class I have yet to make a Notion page and really done like research before jumping in. This class is a beast. <laughs> this is a beast of a class, right? Introduction to Python. Um, but yeah. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, let me see. I don't have anything else to share uh, with you guys. It, you know, the degree was really, really cool. Uh, very challenging, I would say, in my opinion coming from a non-technical background. I mean, I'm currently two years of my IT career, but uh, aside from that, no program experience. Um, so I found the degree to be very challenging, but I also found it to be very uh, rewarding, right? And I could quickly show you guys this real quick. So I wanted to show you guys this real quick, right? What, what did I get from this degree and how did I apply this to my career? So the first thing I did, right? And guys, this Python course, right? I was on that course for like two months. I remember I was on that course, that one course for two months, losing my mind, like, damn. After all the knowledge and practice I got from that course, I decided to make a, a course out of the course, right? Because I found the Zybook material to be way too bloated, in my opinion. So using the knowledge and the self-studying I got, I launched my own Python course, right? So this is actually a resource for students in WGU, surprisingly. So, <laughs> well, in the WGU, uh, uh, what's it called, Discord chat, so super cool. Another thing as well too, I launched a PowerShell course. Now, yes, PowerShell is not taught in the C-sharp track, to be frank, but it, it, you know, the course had me, or the degree had me look into other programming language that I'm like, you know what, if I'm good with Python, let me get PowerShell shot and launch a PowerShell course. Other than that, I launched Cool Labs on BTLO. I was able to teach programming class and do some cool programming stuff for other companies. And yeah, other than that, pretty, pretty solid degree. And yeah, if you guys have got any questions, feel free to put them in the chat. But 
looking forward to, um, you know, providing more value to the world and really putting this thing to use. But other than that, that's been today's video. Have a good one.